80 at all. KO abilities. E, zero point. Official tool tip. Equip a suppression blade. Oh yeah, the knifey. The knifey boy. The... Fire to throw. The blade sticks to the first surface it hits, winds up, and suppresses anyone in the radius of the explosion. Now, what is suppress exactly? Is that a, basically an ability silence? You can't... Does that mean you can't actually use any abilities? Or is that like a like, like stun? Like breach E? I think it might be... I'm not sure. Flash drive. Equip a flash grenade. Fire to throw. The grenade flashes. The flash grenade explodes after a short fuse, blinding anyone in sight. Right clicking throws a charged flash, causing it to only cook for one second, as opposed to left clicking. Okay, so you can. It's like a. It's like CS. You can left click to throw it far. Right click to throw it short. It's a silence. Okay, that's cool. Fragment fires an explosive. Fragment. The fragment sticks to the floor and explodes multiple times, dealing near lethal damage at the center with each explosion. Near lethal? What is it? Do 100 damage every tick? That sounds crazy. And finally, his ultimate. Instantly overload with polarized radionite energy that empowers KO and causes large energy pulses to emit from his location. Enemies hit with these pulses are suppressed. So this is like an AOE, an AOE EMP, because it causes him to be suppressed. While overloaded, KO gets combat stim. So it's basically Reyna ult. If KO is killed while ulted, he is downed and enter a destabilized state, allowing allies to stabilize, stabilize his core and revive him. Chat, this means Jet can actually revive her teammates. Well, just the KO, but that said, the Jet Revive Me meme is now not a meme anymore. Interesting, do we know how many charges it takes for his ult? How many orbs or how many points? Is it a six or a seven or? We don't know exactly, at least here. Okay, sounds pretty insane, especially in a... I wonder, so what does this mean? Does this, is his EMP essentially, his pulses, does it disable abilities or only disables the enemies? Like if you ult and you run into the bomb site, will it disable all abilities? Or uh, we don't know, we gotta test it some, sometime, whenever he comes out. And then his ult seems pretty good. I mean, you only have 15 seconds to, to res. So it's like KO ults, KO runs in. It's, it's probably like, it's probably like Phoenix ult. You hear the ult, you know that guy's gonna run in because they have to. Freak said it was seven. Freak, like Riot Freak, my boy. Matt, what's his name? Turley, Tarly, something like that. It disables all abilities. So it would disable mollies. How, what about if there's poison on the floor or like a brim molly? Would it disable that or how does it work? Comes out on Monday, I think Tuesday, but yeah. So it's I feel like it's kinda like uh it's kinda like Phoenix ult. You pop her you pop his ulti, you you know that guy's gonna run in because you have probably until the end of it to uh to die. And then if he dies, you have to have teammates like right behind him. Like imagine a KO ult and a Phoenix ult. That's seven and seven bodies you have to kill. Two from the Phoenix. I mean, I guess po po technically maybe not two from the KO, but probably two from the KO as well. And KO is stemmed out of his mind. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Disable postman stuff? Really? I feel like this agent might be really insane for a David Turley. What did I call him? I don't remember. This agent might be really insane for a second duelist spot. I don't think he would be picked over Jet, but I feel like a second duelist, it might be good. Like jet ko or who would you drop to run that though most of the time the teams that run double duos it's usually jet phoenix or jet rays so you'd probably drop a rays or phoenix for him but his ult is pretty cracked the thing is he doesn't have a flat he does have a flash actually so he does have a molly technically too and his ult is basically like phoenix ult except it's it might probably be harder to trade than phoenix ult because if you don't res him in time it might be weird 
And yeah, I don't know. He seems like an upgraded Phoenix to me, maybe. He's an initiator? No. Yeah, exactly. EMP stops Killjoy. Oh, I don't know about that. I feel like he's a duelist. People are saying he's an initiator, but I feel like he's a duelist. I understand that he is an initiator. I, I mean, we, we've talked many times, Chad, about how uh, I feel like the actual the, the actual role, the, the, the role name that Riot gives them doesn't matter. Like, just be, it, it, whether he's an initiator or a sentinel or whatever, you can play a sentinel as a duelist. It's not like, a, I mean, Sage is technically a sentinel and a lot of people play Sage super aggressively. So putting, like, saying that the, he's a duelist, that doesn't mean anything to me. There's different play styles. You put me on a duelist, I'm going to be baiting. I'm going to be playing a, like a support duelist. You put me on a, you know, an, like an initiator like Sova or whatever Sova is considered. Um, I don't even know what Sova is considered. Then, I mean, you know I'm playing passive. But if you put someone that's, if you put a Suna on Sova, guess what? He's playing Sova like a duelist. So I don't really care very much what Riot calls them. I think it's, I don't, I just don't care. So, Yeah. I feel like his abilities are kind of duelist, dualisto. That's it's duelist sounding, at least to me. He seems very, uh, very self-sufficient. He doesn't really need support. He literally has all the support for himself, and his alt is a literal duelist alt. So, I yeah, I, I don't really, I don't really care what they call him. 